What advice do you have for parents to raise children to know and love the Lord, Lord in a culture that often doesn't doesn't support us, right? That's a very countercultural. Yeah. 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 I know it can be it can be challenging. We're definitely in a time of a culture war and I think the best thing that any of us can do as parents is to be consistent and that we actually walk our walk and we show it by example and not just talk the talk. And it, you know, it's, it's a lot easier said than done because those little eyes are always watching you. Like you, your, you know, mommy and daddy are the b- biggest examples in life. So they're always watching to see what you're going to do. And I think if you, as a parent, can walk with the consistency and back up your words with your actions, that speaks volumes. And your children will know that it doesn't go unnoticed by them ever. And that consistency through life will 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 play out. I truly believe that. Christmas is your season. You're so festive. Mm-hmm. And I'm so excited because you are in some upcoming great American pure flicks movies. What yeah. can you tell us about these roles that you're playing? Yeah, I'm I'm so happy. I love my Christmas movie this year. It's called My Christmas Hero. And it is, I play an Army Reserve doctor, Nicole Ramsey, and she She goes on a little journey to honor a fallen soldier with the help of some other military heroes to to bring healing to her own family. So it's a touching story. There's, of course, a little bit of romance. We always have that in our Christmas movies. But the focus here is really to honor our military, those who have served and are currently serving. And that was really important to me. That's really um, such an important key to our network, Great American Family Channel and Great American Pure Flicks, where we honor faith family and country. And so I hope everyone enjoys this Christmas movie this year. And Thanksgiving weekend is a really big one. Uh, Danica McKellar's is on the Saturday night. Mine's on the Friday night. And then there's another movie called A Christmas for the Ages that I produced. That is a wonderful generational story starring Cheryl Ladd and my daughter, Natasha Bure. Um, that goes from, you know, 20 year old daughter, her mom, grandma and great grandma. And they they share how they all celebrated Christmas throughout the decades. And so it's very visually fun. We go back to the 40s, back to the 60s, the 90s and then present day. So we're, we have a great, great weekend lined up for on Great American Family that I hope everyone catches. In a culture of commercialism, how do you in, keep Christ in Christmas, help your family remember what Christmas is all about? You know, I, it's, I feel like it gets easier and easier, at least as I get older. And I'm the first one who will tell you, I love the commercialism of the holidays. I love the decorations. I love the Christmas smells and the music and um, the Christmas tree and and the, the baking and the goods, like all of that. I absolutely love it. But the reason I love Christmas so much is because it's the easiest time to share the gospel with people. That's what our season's all about. That, um, that a savior came for all mankind to be reconciled to God. And so it's the season of the year that, that truly it's, it's rare if someone gets offended when you do share the gospel, because that's why we're celebrating Christmas. And so I'm, I'm, I'm always reminded of that. It's always at the forefront of my mind, but knowing that true meaning and knowing that that's what the purpose of the season is also allows me to then celebrate the festivities of the season with a clear conscience. And so I love to be able to do to do both of those. And it's important for my family that we we have always talked about the real season reason for the season and reading the Bible and throughout the year, not just on Christmas morning, but that's something that we focus on on Christmas morning, just to be present and give gratitude and thankfulness towards God. And, and then we, you know, can just enjoy family and friends and all the other wonderful traditions that come along with Christmas time. Absolutely. So what are some favorite family traditions you have? Christmas family. Yeah. Yeah. So ours have kind of changed over the years because my kids are all adults now. And uh, this year is going to be a little different for us because we have kind of recently moved um, to a different 
a different a place in California. So I'm not around all my family. We usually go over to my brother's house and my parents are there and, and my sisters and we do all the caroling and, and eat together and just talk and love on each other. But uh, I'm not quite sure what our, what our new traditions are going to be this year. Um, we, the last few years, we actually would wake up before the sun rises so we could go out to a cliff top and watch the sunrise, which has been really beautiful. So I think we're going to try to pick a spot where we're at and watch the sunrise and, uh, and then we'll see how it goes. But yeah, there's just new traditions starting in our house and this is the first year. So I'm going to have to, I can answer that question better next year. Okay, I'm going to ask you again next year. <laughs> okay, okay. It is yours such an encouragement to so many people, especially women, young women. What encouragement do you have for people who may be struggling this holiday season? It's been a hard year for a lot of people. I know, I know. It's been it's been a very hard year, and uh, so many of us have felt the effects of it in all different ways. But I'm I'm right there with you and. Um, I think the encouragement I would have is one, to be in a place of gratitude for what you do have, just to look around. And sometimes it feels like that could be trivial, but it's not, it really isn't. And sometimes to realize, you know, I have my child, I have my husband, or I have my mom, those people in your life that are your, that are your constants that are there for you, um, I think that that is a thing that just can can bring joy from the inner place of the heart to remember gratitude. And I also think that simplicity is the best. You know, um, the, the holidays can be difficult also because of missing loved ones. And I think when we we settle in a place to just remember the beauty that is right around, right around us, surrounding us, in front of us, it can help through those times, you know, but you're not alone. I think that's the biggest message. There's many, many people that can feel that way during the holidays, but you're, you're never alone. And you're, you're just like an Instagram message away. Maybe someone's not right in front of you, but like, I think there's, there's so many virtual people that are available to bring smiles to faces.